What's going on guys, Steven here from techmaker.tv. In this episode, I wanna take a look at a new gem that I've been meaning to try out for a while that I'm pretty excited about called Futurism. Um, and as it says right here, Futurism is still pre 1.0, so some stuff may change. That said, I'm probably gonna to stick to the basics so that we don't do anything. Um, first of all, I don't really know much beyond the basics, so uh, we couldn't if we wanted to. Um, but in any case, I want to try to basically go by what's here so that we don't do anything that's likely to change. Um, but yeah, so what is futurism? Futurism is lazy load rails partials via cable ready. So basically, if we go down here and we look at this example that they have, you can see that the screen uh, loads first without actually populating uh, your data for the various active record objects or whatever. Um, it doesn't have to be active record objects, it just has to basically support this two partial path method, but in any case that's typically going to be something like an active model object as it says here. Um, so in any case, what we're going to do is say futurize something and it's going to load the page without it and then it's going to query for that stuff after the actual page loads. Uh, so that can make the entire page load faster. Um, and then what it's going to do is it's going to go query that over cable ready and bring back uh, that material over web sockets so that it can just populate once it has it. This will be built on top of the blogging application that we've been working on and I think this is part 13 or 14 of that series. If you want to see the whole thing you can check that out at www.techmaker.tv. Um, with all of that said, just a quick reminder to always like the video if you in fact like it, uh, that helps us out a lot. And uh, subscribe to the channel because why not, you're here um, and uh, I think we got some good stuff coming out for you. So all of that said, let's go take a look at the code for uh, the blog. So let me get this opened up here and um, let's see what's going to happen. Is it going to open it up any day now? My computer has been being a little slow, in particular when I'm recording. Um, here we go. Okay, so we've got the code open. Let's go just follow the instructions in the gem. So basically we need to install the Futurism gem. We're going to bundle, and then we're going to Rails Futurism install. And I don't really want to do the manual installation, so let's uh, see if this works just like they say. So gem file, and then... Let's come on down here and we'll add gem futurism and then let's go bundle and let's see how hopefully this doesn't take too long here um, okay and looks like we've got futurism 03.3 and then rails futurism install and then let's see what this generates for us. So I haven't done this before. I'm doing this for the first time here with you. So um, we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty excited to try this. So looks like we've got um, a few new files. Um, okay, cool. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Let's just go try to set it up um, with the documentation over here. So what do we got to do? So it looks like we're they're essentially futurizing a collection. Um, I'm gonna guess that I probably want to do extends div. So let's first of all start our server. Sorry, I'm bouncing around a lot here. Let me um, start up my server, and once that's running, let's go check out what we've got in our app. So this is all my local data. So let's just get a sense for what this may or may not do. Okay, so how long is this post? So we've got three elements on here. And then on this one we've got a few more. Let me, how do I, I don't even remember how to get to my uh, edit. Uh, I think it's contents maybe. Nope, that's not it. Let's go check the routes. So what happens when you have too many of these little projects going on and you forget where in the world you are. So resources posts. So it looks like I just need to go to like um, posts. 
and I'm not logged in, so let me go ahead and do that. Steven at techmaker.tv. And let's go to one of these guys, and let's go to the one that has a picture, because that'll be a little more complicated, I assume. Um, so let's go to Hipsum, which stands for Hipster Ipsum, which is always kind of funny. Um, apologies if there's anything offensive in here. I have no idea what it says. It just looks funny. Um, okay, so let's add a paragraph, and let's add some of that content. I'm just going to add one of them. should make that add a paragraph at the bottom. That's probably not the best like that. Okay, let's add another one and let's paste that other bit in there. I'm trying to get a little bit of a longer page going on. I don't know where I dropped that. I think it stayed at the top maybe. Okay, so let's go with that. Now let's go back and uh, check out our posts over here. Was it this one? Yeah, so it's a little bit longer now. So what I want to do is follow along with the documentation and see uh, what happens. So what do we have? i got to remind myself what we've even got uh, going on on that page. So it's going to be in the readers section, and it's going to be on post show. And it looks like we've got post elements each right now. If it's an image, otherwise render element.content. So from the docs, it looks like what I need to do is basically something like this, like um, futurize and then pass in. I'm just doing this from memory and I don't remember exactly what it said. So futurized at post.elements and then it was something about a div. Let's go check out what that said really quick. Extends div do placeholder. Extends. Is that a symbol? Div. And they don't have parentheses here, so let's get rid of that. And then do. Okay, so seems like what we would need to do now is create an elements partial. Um, that's what I'm thinking anyway. So let's create a new folder here. And let's do elements. And then let's create a new one, a new file, elements.html.rb. And inside of here, let's actually just cut this little simple snippet that we've got going on and paste that inside of here okay so that's simple enough and okay so I don't know what's supposed to go in here actually maybe nothing um, let's try it with nothing and let's see what happens so if we refresh uh, nothing happens Let's go check our terminal and see if we have any errors or anything. What in the world is that? Um, I think it's probably telling me it can't find, it's missing a partial. And I think that's because, that's going to be because I have this nested structure here. So for simplicity, let's bump this out just into the views. So. I may have to figure out how to tell it where the partial lives, um, but for now that should automatically do that properly because now we have that in the top level. So basically it looks like it was trying to look in this place, but it was actually nested inside of readers here, so maybe that's the trouble. Okay, so it looks like it loaded. So you can see there's this very light flicker when I refresh the page. So the really great blog post is in place before the text under it. Um, I'm not sure if all of the stuff under it loads all at the same time or one by one. I would guess that it's one by one, but I'm not sure. Um, we could go look through here, but that is a giant amount of text and I don't really feel like scrolling all day. 
Um, so let's go back to where was I? I was over here. Okay, so let's actually do one thing really fast. Let's add a placeholder here. Um, let's just say hold on, and let's see if that shows up. Yeah, you can kind of see it there just for a second. Hold on, like in a bunch of, all in one line, actually. Um, so we could maybe put it in like a div and uh, MB4 or something like that. Yeah, so you can see that that's basically getting stuck in there as a placeholder, which is exactly what the documentation says. I don't know why that confused me for a second. Um, but anyway uh, so that's pretty cool the only problem I have is that my image isn't showing up and if we inspect the image um, it is now trying to load it from example.org slash rails blah 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 so I'm trying to figure out how to um, let's change this to localhost 3000 and just see if that actually solves the problem Cool, so I don't know why that's pulling from example.org all of a sudden. Um, I'm not going to try to fix that on this episode. Um, but anyway, yeah, so first impression, it looks pretty cool. Um, I can see this being useful if you've got a bunch of different little things all over the screen, like a dashboard or something. Um, I probably will actually roll this back here. I don't have any idea what the impact on SEO would be um, if, like, the Google crawler is scraping the side or something like that um, so I'm not gonna actually keep this on here but if you're using this on some kind of dashboard where you had a bunch of stuff that was gonna pop into place independently um, that would be kind of nice um, yeah so anyway I think it's really cool I'm pretty excited about it that's just a quick overview um, hope you enjoyed this episode and I will talk to you in the next one